All right, everybody, with that being said, I want to move on to my favorite part of the show, gun talk. And today I want to talk about a subject that I have spoken about before, but I received an email on it the other day after I said that I open carry a lot nowadays. Well, someone left me a comment and sent me an email saying, you say you open carry, but I just see you using leather holsters. I don't see you using retention holsters or safety holsters, you know, whatever you want to call them. And I said, no, I don't use them. I don't think they're necessary. Well, and that person was like, he responded to me, someone's going to come up behind you and pull your gun out of your holster. And I just think a lot of people have a misconception about how easy that is to do. If you've got a good holster, that's not going to happen, really. Holsters are not designed to give the gun up easily, especially not at an awkward angle. In fact, not too long ago, I did a video where I showed uh, my son and his friend, Carson, trying to pull my gun out of my holster from coming up behind me and yanking it out quickly. And uh, they didn't fare too well. So let me show you that again here and you'll see it's not as easy as you think. Okay, here, let's look at how easy it actually is to yank someone's gun out of their holster from behind when they're standing somewhere. Let's say I'm standing somewhere I would normally be standing, like, oh, I don't know, maybe church. And in this scenario, I'm even going to cross my hands in front of my uh, stomach to give them more access to my gun, not just to uh, cover up my belly, but to give them better access to the gun and let you see still how they fail to get the gun out of my holster. The way holsters are designed, if you're not pulling up and forward, it's really hard to get a gun out of them, especially if it's a well-fit holster. That's why I always say, make sure your holster fits your gun. Doesn't have to be like, uh, you know, a retention holster with a strap and a button and all this other stuff. It just has to fit your gun. If it fits your gun, they're going to have a hard time getting that out of there. If it's not some cheap nylon holster, if it's leather, if it's Kydex, if it's something like that, if it's just a decent holster made for your gun specifically and not 50 other guns also, they're going to have real trouble getting that gun out of your holster before you can react. And in these situations, I'm not even reacting. I'm letting them pull until they about pull me down. And they still did not get the gun out of the holster even once. So if you think it's really easy to pull a gun out of a holster, try to pull your own gun out of your holster at a weird angle. It doesn't really work. You have to pull up and forward to get them out easily. So that whole notion of someone's going to come right behind you and snatch your gun, uh, that's just not happening. How easily would it have been for me to, bam, elbow one of these kids in the face before they ever even got close to getting my gun out of the holster? It have been real easy. So there you have it. Two strong teenage boys coming at me from behind. Uh, not in that way that you're thinking right now, you dirty-minded bastards. Uh, but coming up behind me trying to yank my gun out of my holster. And they didn't succeed. And I told them, pull straight up, pull out, pull as hard as you can. Still, they didn't succeed, not once. So that goes to show you, it's really not as likely as you think, especially not if you're paying attention. So if you've got a good fitted leather holster, I really wouldn't worry about someone coming up from behind and taking your gun.